We're on number 10 and 11 on the review, and I'm going to answer 11 first in this video and then 10 in the next video. So I went ahead and marked in, in color all the different things that were assigned or given to us in the problem, where X in red is what is asked of us in the question at the end. So if you look at X, X is the intersection between AF, which is a tangent, and then DF, which is a secant. And so since the ang the vertex of the angle is on the outside or an Audi type question, then what we need to find is arc, and let me highlight the arcs in a different color. So arc AD, and then find arc, let's do this arc in what color haven't I used? Okay, orange, find arc a AD, subtract out arc AB, so the larger, of the intercepted arc minus the smaller, divide by two. So over on the right-hand side, what I need is the measure of arc AD minus the measure of arc AB, and then divide that in half. Okay, so, or divide by two. So from there, um, if I look, I have arc BC is 70 and arc DC in pink is 100 degrees. So together that's 170 degrees. So I know that the sum of the two arcs I need is going to be a hundred and or three hundred and sixty minus a hundred and seventy, or if I subtract the two, then one ninety. Okay, so then um, that gets us a little bit closer, but not what we exactly need. So when we go back, I see that well, I do have arc DC. And I'm trying to find arc AD. They do give me in purple that the angle um, AGC is 80 degrees. And if you look, AGC has an intercepted arc that includes AD and DC. So if I'm going backwards from there, then that means arc AD plus DC has to be equal to, um, or or actually. Since that is an Audi, then the sum of those two arcs minus arc BC must be equal to the angle measure inside. So let's go ahead and start with that. Okay, so we have, and I'll write out the, this is an intermediate step, so I'll keep it in blue, but we have that um, angle AGC. So the measure of AGC is equal to arc ADC minus arc BC divided by two. So we're given AG's angle AGC is 80 degrees. We have arc ADC is X plus 100. And then we're subtracting out arc BC, which is 70 and then dividing by two. So if I keep solving this, I get 160. I multiply both sides by two. I have X plus 30, and then continue, and I get 130 equals X. And X to begin with was arc AD, which is measure of arc AD. So I go back to the picture. I do now know that this is 130. Well, if I know that the sum of AD and AB is 190, that makes arc AB equal to 60 degrees, the difference between 190 minus 130. And so I'll, I have my inf missing information. So for arc AD, we're going to plug it in. We have 130 minus arc AB, which is 60, divided by 2. So X must therefore be equal to 35. 